having a number talk, we kind of learn different ways to like speak really and people can disagree and agree with you and it's really fun and you get to learn all sorts of new things. Usually in math class uh, we would say like you're wrong and I don't understand but instead we can just say that here is like another way to do it or you can clarify it. Okay. So, so maybe someone adds 159 by using the algorithm and someone else can use it, do it a different way. You still come up with the same answer? Yeah. yeah. So there's multiple ways to arrive in the same place. Yes. And who figures that out during a number talk? Us, really. Number talks are quite common in math classrooms now. So we took what's a common number talk and uh, Jason came with some research and some ideas and we have combined the number talk to be also an oral language uh, way of teaching uh, literacy as well. And we decided to do this because most of the students that are in Melanie's class um, don't speak English as their first language. I like doing the number talks better because everyone participates. When some one person says, oh, I think this and this, and then the other person says, no, I disagree. It's a little fun just trying to figure out what's, what's right. In Elena's way, one plus four equals five. And Nakia's way, two plus three also equals five. You can really like say what you think so you're not afraid to put out your ideas because no idea is a bad idea. Our class always, even if the answer is not the correct one, our classmates, they always help us try and find the right answer and we make new, we make the conversation bigger. Some number talks, it's really heavy in terms of the content that they're learning. And then other number talks, we find that when they're, often when there's tension, or often when there are disagreements, that's when the language skills come in and we see the kids asking each other questions. We see the kids clarifying for each other. We see the kids correcting um, just grammar in general. If some, someone disagreed, you have to explain why and uh, try, try to make that, that person clarify and uh, try to figure it out again. Before, I just like heard other people's ideas. Then I was like shy because I thought it would be wrong. But now I try to put my ideas in the conversation. Okay. It's a really nice balance. It's very seamless between the oral language and the math. Typically, EL kids um, are a little bit shy to speak. So we've really brought out the participation and, and having them all converse in this academic way, in a low-risk, non-threatening way, has been really great. Right.